Good afternoon, I am Nabila and I am from the A to Z News Channel. We will start with what is happening in schools in Singapore nowadays. Recently, a group of students from Hong Kong Secondary School has researched about the possibilities of using alternative energy and they had and they had developed a new idea using hydroelectric energy. We will now take you to our on-site reporter who is reporting live from HKSS. She will tell you more about their energy project. Thank you, Nabila. I am Jean and I am currently in Hong Kong Secondary School with a student representative, Li Pin. So, Li Pin, how did your team develop this idea? It is chosen because Singapore is a forward-looking nation. Today, renewable energy is the top of the world. We would like to follow the footsteps of clean energy. The scenario of the number of high-rise buildings and the regular rainfall in Singapore has made us think through the possibility of borrowing the technology of hydroelectric power and apply it in this context. Do you think this is significant for Singapore? It is important is because, being an urbanized city, Singapore has many high-rise buildings and high rainfall. Around 82% of the population resides in public housing high-rise flats. Singapore also experiences high rainfall, especially during the monsoon season. With the abundance of rainfall, coupled with the dominance of high-rise landscape in Singapore, it will be of great interest to explore the possibility of such energy source. Do you have a hypothesis for this project? We believe that the increase in height of waterfall will result in the increase in number of revelation of turbine. Our pre preliminary study is carried out with a mock-up turning wheel structure. This is our experiment setup. It has the meter rule, the retort stand, and the turning wheel structure. Firstly, set up, we set up, the con set up and construct the turning wheel structure. Next, we hold the meter rule just above the turning wheel using the retort stand. Next, we will measure the height from the highest point of the turning wheel to the point where the water is running down. Next, we place a running water from a hose at a height of 10 cm and let it run down directly down at the turning wheel. Next, we count the number of revolutions produced by the turning wheel within the time of 10 seconds. And lastly, we repeat the experiment and for heights of 20 cm and 30 cm. Note that the data suggests its potential as a possible energy source for Singapore. Further study will be carried out to power low power electric appliances such as light bulbs for the mock-up structure. So Mr. Asin, what do you feel about this project so far? Hmm. What we hope to achieve from our investigation is to explore the feasibility from our preliminary study using a simplified setup. I think this is a well-based project. It's amazing how students can work this out. We have been planning to use renewable energy in Singapore. I hope that this project will take off in a big way and be implemented in for the future of Singapore. See, well, what do you hope to achieve? What we hope to achieve from our investigation is to explore the feasibility from our preliminary study using a simplified setup. Working principle is that we apply technology of hydroelectric power. Water behind the dam possesses potential energy and when it is channeled to a turbine, the mechanical energy can be used to generate electric current. The amount of power that can be obtained is directly related to the height of the water from which it falls and the flow rate of the water. When the height of the water source is 10 cm, the number of revolution is 10. When the height of the water source is 20 cm, the number of revolution is 13. When the height of the water source is 30 cm, the number of revolution is 15. Therefore, the number of revolution produced by the falling water increases with the height of the fall of the water. We conclude that the data suggests its potential as a possible energy source for Singapore. Further study will be carried out to power low power electric appliances such as light bulbs for the mock-up structure. We would like to acknowledge Mr. Terence Ong, our project work facilitator, Mrs. Hu, laboratory technician, and Mrs. Aditi, our geography teacher. Thank you, Jean. That is all for today's segment. Stay tuned for more interesting updates. I am Nabila, signing off. Have a nice day.